Hello guys, this is Mike from Nitro Speed. Hope everyone's doing well and having a good day. I'm doing good, enjoying my first full day at home until May 2nd. So guys, I have a six fines and three mail calls. So let's get started. I'm gonna move the tray out of the way. So we can do this. First one is the Aston Martin Valhalla Concept. Is the first one, and it's from the double, uh, yeah, James Bond 007, No, No Time to Die. Pretty nice there. Not much there in the back, but it's pretty nice looking casting. So that's the first one. I finally able to get my hands on this one. Next one. I'm going to go through all of them, and then we'll take them out on the turntable. Next one, McLaren F1 in black. Now this one looks great in the front. Real nice detail there in the back. Real nice casting. And this is Rio's, Rio Asada's Rides. Hey, there's the second one. Next one, I finally got my hands on the... Liberty Walk, Super Silhouette, Nissan, Sylvia. Yeah, S15. Finally able to get this one in my collection. So it's going to go good with my Nissan Sylvia's. Good in the front. Not too bad in the back. So we're looking really good on this one. Next one, guys. Is the custom Ford Bronco? There's the back. Not much in the front either. So, it's pretty much Baja Blazer. As you can see, Baja Blazers. And number 68, of course, for 1968, the year Hot Wheels was born. All right, guys, uh, next one. Next one, I got finally got this Nash one. I really like this color combination on here. A lot of people are really liking this one and the color combination of this. Not too much tamp work front or back, but I tell you what, this is a real nice looking casting. Really nice from the Compact Kings. It's really nice. Okay, guys. Next one. Oh boy, am I glad to have my hands on this one. I actually picked up two of them. It's a 70 Chevelle SS wagon. Finally able to get my hands on this because everybody was getting it. And uh, it's part of the Hot Wheels wagons. Really nice. Absolutely love this casting. As you guys know, I love my Chevelles, whether it's a wagon or not. All right, guys. Mail call. It's a... 49 Drag Merc. This is really nice. Feels burner, but this is really awesome. I really like this. I have some more castings coming in. I gotta drive over to Hobby Lobby, hopefully tonight, because I've got to get a hold of uh, some of those cases to put them in. I'm gonna get, hopefully I have at least one. Next one. This one I saw on Rock Black's channel, and I had to get my hands on it. 1973 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. This is absolutely gorgeous. From Greenlight, California Lowriders. I love the color of this. As you guys know, I love the caddies as well. And I really had to uh, add this one to my custom Cadillac collection, you know, so ones that look really nice like this one. So guys, go to the last one. And this one, I saved the best for last because I couldn't wait to get this in the mail. It's a 19, hold on guys, 66 Chevrolet Suburban from Auto World. I really wanted to get my hands on this so badly. I love the old Suburbans really nice so guys we're gonna get the turntable going and we're gonna put them all out on the table one at a time 
All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna turn it on, guys. All right, here we go. Whoop, I'll fix that. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and start with the weakest to the best. All right, well, not so much the weakest to the best, but putting these guys last, so let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna do Suburban last, so. Okay, guys, let's just go ahead and start with the Aston Martin Valhalla Concept. Don't have this one. All these are ones I didn't have in my collection. Right in the trash. All right, here we go. Not too bad looking, guys. I know a lot of you guys don't like these, but I like having these for my uh, exotic collection. Yeah, my collection is so huge right now. I'm just so out of room. That's why I have to go to Hobby Lobby tonight. See if I can find me a case that holds, what, 24 or 48, something like that. So hopefully I can get my hands on at least one. So guys, let's go ahead and go to the next one. And my friend texted or messaged me on uh, this YouTube channel and told me he has some more Hot Wheels for me at O'Reilly's, my friend Jared. Okay, here's the McLaren F1 in black. Whoop, sorry guys. There we go, she is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Real nice looking casting. Really nice looking casting, I love the color, real nice tamp work, front and back, very nice. All right guys, we're gonna go to the, the Nissan Silvia S15 Liberty Walk. All right, guys, let's go to that. There we go. This one's quite nice. Really like this one. The only thing I don't like about it, I don't like the front end there on the bottom. I call that pancake on wheels. Or pancake with wheels. That's what it looks like. A car sitting on top of a pancake. That's what it makes me think of. Not too bad of a cast in. It's not huge on it, but I really wanted it for my collection, my Nissan Sylvia collection. So guys, let's go to the Nash. Okay, let's go to the Nash, guys. Here's the Nash. The little itty bitty Nash. About as small as the Coop Mini Coopers. But this is really cool. I really like this a lot. I also have another Hot Wheels 50 slash 48 case coming in. So I can put 50 more in there and then that will help take away. Get some room on this table because it's just so out of room. I have no room on the walls for anything, so. All right, guys, let's go to the Ford Bronco. All right, guys, Ford Bronco time. Here we go, guys. It's a Baja Blazer. Or, yeah, it's Baja Blazers. And we're going to go to... 70 Spell SS Wagon. This one's really cool, but I'm just so sick of these brown tires. They need to stop doing that. It looks hideous. It looks better with the brown, the black tires. Makes it look that much more authentic. And uh, so that's what we're going to do, guys. Next side, we're going to go to the Chevy Chevelle SS Wagon.
Man, it's standing up on end too, even. <sighs> My collection is just massive right now, just growing like a wildfire. Here she is. That is absolutely, I love that this color is absolutely gorgeous. With the white on it, it just looks so great. I love the white graphics on the sides and on the top. Looks so good. Really, really like this. Okay, I'm gonna down the last three. What I gotta do, guys, I gotta step away a minute and get my scissors so I can cut the uh, green light out. Get the caddy out of there. So, bear with me, guys. I gotta work on that. Oh, I don't need the scissors. Dang it. Got my knife. Ugh. so much easier with the knife. There we go. Good, she's out and ready to go. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go with the 49 Drag Merc. And this is from 2000. 11. I ordered this online because I seen somebody else with it and I really wanted to uh, get this. Oh, I wanted one of these so bad. It just looks so cool. Here we go, guys. 49 Drag Merc. Really cool looking in orange. Really cool looking. I love this. Great looking. It's going to go great with my drag racing collection. Definitely. Real nice detail on it. With the flames. It's orange. Of course, you guys. Orange, yellow, and blue. My favorite colors. Alright, guys. Got my caddy out. Nope. I'm going to get out of this little slot here. Boy, this is hard to get out. She don't want to budge. Oh, there we go. In there, pretty good. Oh, man, this Cadillac is gorgeous. All right, guys, let's go to the Caddy. This is absolutely stunning. Let's see. Nope, it doesn't open up. Okay. Rat Black had this, and I went, oh man, I just fell in love with it, and I really wanted to add it to my really nicely detailed Cadillac collection. So this is just absolutely gorgeous. 1973 Cadillac Sedan de Bill. Pretty nice stuff in this Auto World one too, but I, I'm really more interested in the older castings than the new. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go to the driver's side. We're gonna go to the 66 Chevy Suburban last. So we're going on 14 minutes. guys all right let's go to the Chevy Suburban and we'll go ahead and end the video so guys here's that Chevy Suburban she is just absolutely gorgeous from Auto World yeah Auto World because the caddy is from Greenlight this is just absolutely gorgeous Chevy Suburban I love these old Suburbans I don't like the red, though. I didn't want a red one. Not real crazy about the red color, but I think the hood opens on this one. Pretty sure. Yeah, that's what I thought. But it doesn't want to stay open, so it's okay. She sure is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous casting. Oh, so glad I could finally get one of these in my collection. I love the gray and the white. It's light, just a standard light gray and white. Absolutely beautiful. 
beautiful casting. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the finds and mail call for the day. Again, my collection is exploding. I have a Chevelle coming in the mail from, uh, I think it's Diecast Looney. He sent me over Chevelle from across the pond, which I can't wait to get my hands on. I saw it, he customized it, and I can't wait to get it. He said it's on its way, so we'll see here shortly. And, uh, and we're going to go from there, guys. So we're going on 16 minutes. I'm going to end this video. You guys have a good rest of your day. Be good to each other. Be well. And I will see you maybe tonight. We'll see. Because I'm watching some hockey. I'm finally able to get home and watch more games. So, guys, take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. Be well. And I will see you in the next video, guys. This is Mike from Nitro Speed. I'm out of here. See ya.